Greetings Metalheads and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I have another underrated album for you. Another album which I feel just doesn't get the love, attention and appreciation that it deserves. So today's choice comes from Norway, an album from 1991. An album which sounds completely different to the rest of the band's uh, catalogue. Coming from a band, a little bit of a giveaway here, a band that we, we know and love for being one of the pioneering and one of the most important black metal bands around. I mean, Dark Throne were right at the spearhead of the black metal movement, the creation of black metal. But this album, from 1991, produced by Thomas Skogsberg, in Sunlight Studios in Stockholm, Sweden. This album is Soulside Journey, their debut album, and it sounds nothing like the rest of the band's catalogue because it is essentially an old school death metal album. This is death metal from one of the most renowned black metal bands around. Dark Throne did, of course, famously change style and approach drastically after the release of this album, even rebelling against uh, what was intended to be their second album after Soulside Journey, which was uh, Goat Lord, an album that they deemed too technical and too over the top to actually be released in the first place. They shelved it, reworked some tracks, wrote a few new tracks and released one of the classic early pioneering black metal albums, one of the very first albums, A Blaze in the Northern Sky. But first, we had this, Soulside Journey. This saw the band as a four-piece with Fenrez on drums, we had Zephyrus on rhythm guitars, Dag Nilsson on bass, and we had Nocturno Colto. Of course, that's quite significant because for the large portion of their career, Dark Throne has been a two-piece. It's been a duo. It's had Fenrez and Nocturno Colto between them, writing and recording everything. But this debut, this death metal debut, Soulside Journey, saw the band as a four-piece. So I mentioned there, it's released in 1991, a very, very important and very prosperous year for old school death metal, particularly the, the bands and the albums of the Sunlight Studios sound and style. Produced by Thomas Skogsberg, a lot of those albums sound very similar. Talking about albums like um, Dismembers Like an Ever-Flowing Stream, Entombed, Left Hand Path, we had Grave with Enter the Grave, we had um, Carnage with Dark Recollections. We had all these albums which do have a very signature style and sound. Not to say that this album sounds exactly like all those other albums, but it does sound very similar, being recorded in the same place and by the same uh, producer. That said, I do think that Soulside Journey does stand out from those other uh, Sunlight Studios albums because it does sound frostier does sound darker and I think it sounds rawer in places. It's definitely not as as generic as some of those albums did sound and I think that this is a fantastic classic death metal album. Over the years uh, I know that the personnel of Dark Throne have expressed mixed opinions and mixed feelings about the album. Of course being members of the band they're going to have a different feeling, a different association with the music. But I know um, Fenrez over the years has, has stated that he does consider it to be a classic album, uh, a classic death metal album, but that he's not happy with, or certainly wasn't happy, with the drum sound. I know there were um, electronic drums and triggers um, used on the album that he didn't necessarily want to be the case. He wanted to use his own equipment his own style. Um, I know that um, some people have commented on the, the guitar tone, but to me there's nothing wrong with the guitar tone. It sounds like nasty, raw, old-school death metal. 
very, very much a Sunlight Studio sound, but with a whole lot more of a punch. I think it's a damn fine album. There's there's flourishes here of that sort of classic Death Doom style, the, the likes of Autopsy and what they were doing, which is no surprise really because, of course, Dark Throne were influenced uh, to some extent by Autopsy. And we certainly do hear those flourishes of those Death Doom on tracks like the title track, Soul Side Journey, uh, and also on tracks like Iconoclasm, Sweeps, Cappadocian, if that's how it's pronounced, but definitely very typical of that Death Doom sound and style. Other great tracks, we've got the opening track, Cromletch. That is a classic old school death metal song. Very frosty, very raw. Um, Nocturno's vocals are nasty, absolutely brilliant stuff. The riffs are killer as well. Sunrise over Locus Mortis, another killer track. A little bit less aggressive or, or certainly less, less speed and intensity, but still heavy on that doom. Other great tracks, Neptune Towers, that is a killer track with some really quite atmospheric, creepy, weird synth kind of, almost like organ sounds going on there. Really good stuff though. The Watchtower, Eon. We got some killer material actually. I think this is a damn fine album. I certainly do rate this as being one of the best old school death metal albums, certainly of the Sunlight Studios sound. I think it's a killer album and it's often, way too often, overlooked or forgotten about or omitted because we all know what Dark Throne went on to become. One of the most important and one of the biggest black metal bands, one of the pioneering bands, but in their humble old school death metal origins they were doing so so well. I, I really do rate this album very highly indeed. I'm not going to say it's my favourite Dark Throne album, but I'm going to say that it's certainly one of my favourite classic death metal albums. 100%. So, if maybe you've omitted this period of the bands, maybe you haven't explored it because, um, I don't know, you, you go straight to the classic black metal albums like A Blaze in the Northern Sky, Transylvanian Hunger, Under a Funeral Moon, or their absolutely triumphant recent releases like Astral Fortress, Eternal Hails, um, The Underground Resistance. They've had some great albums out over the last few years, but this is definitely one to visit. If, you've, if this one has passed you by, give it a chance. It is an excellent album. If you like old school death, then there's not much there not to like. Are you familiar with this album? Let me know what you think of it. If you've never heard it, do check it out. It's, it's certainly an interesting listen and a really enjoyable one at that. So that's Dark Throne, the Soul Side Journey, an underrated album. Check it out, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Check back soon for more reviews, recommendations, of all things good and heavy. As always, my friends, take care and stay heavy.